Hi sweeties, we are making some good old fashioned peach cobbler with fresh Georgia peaches. You can use canned or frozen if you like, I won't judge you. All the ingredients and amounts will be in the description box, so check that out. Please subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and let's get into it. We've got a whole bushel of fresh Georgia peaches, peeled them, sliced them, and then got started. And add in some turbinado sugar. Measure it carefully. <laughs> a little cornstarch. And then some thyme and a couple of cinnamon sticks. Mm. Simmer this down to release the juices, then discard the cinnamon stick and the thyme. You can use powdered cinnamon for this if you like. Got flour, sugar, salt, and baking powder. We're going to add in milk. And vanilla. Melt the butter in the baking dish and let it get brown for about 10 minutes. We've got some brown butter. Pour in our batter, but don't stir. This recipe is enough for one 9 by 13 peach cobbler, but I divided the recipe in half and gave half to a friend. Then add peaches on top of that. Bake your peach cobbler and let it get nice and bubbly and brown on top. And that's really all there is to it. Nice and easy. Serve that cobbler up with some ice cream, whipped cream, whatever you like. Eat it plain. It's so good. I use a little extra batter because I like my peach cobbler to come out nice and thick. But you can use a little less batter if you want it to be um, more syrupy. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Have a delicious day.